for the girls who have fallen off the bandwagon. Today's video is all about getting back on track and how to reduce bloating after a holiday. Today's video is all about getting back on track and how to reduce bloating after a holiday. There are so many reasons why you may be bloating, so these tips may not be the answer for you. It might be something more severe like irritable bowel syndrome, you might have intolerances or allergies or a parasite. Um, there is, you know, obviously a lot of reasons why you could be bloating, but this is just generally for the girls who have fallen off the bandwagon, gone on holidays, and just feeling gross and bloated from the food that they've been consuming. In Bali, I ate whatever I wanted. I ate a lot of ice cream. I ate a lot of mi goreng, morning meow meow, which is like this fried noodle dish. It's so delicious. But did not eat a lot of healthy vegetables and proteins and healthy fats. So I'm bloated, as you can see by the thumbnail. <laughs> so my number one tip of the day in this video will just be vlog style. Oh, before I get started, can I just say a massive thank you to all the support on my latest collection of Toned, the Urban. We launched last Wednesday and seeing you girls, hi, hi, seeing you girls get just as excited as what I do. I can't even describe how much that means to me. Like, honestly, thank you so much. Toned is like my little baby. I'm so passionate about it and to see you girls get behind and support me and support my dreams and even watching this just supporting me all around I just want to say thank you often because without all of you none of it could happen so thank you from the bottom of my heart <laughs> all right let's get started with my tips it's going to be a vlog style today so throughout the day I'm going to give you lots of tips to help get rid of the bloat number one you've heard me talk about it before but warm lemon water you want some <laughs> warm lemon water so i grab a cup that you don't have to drink 500 mils but i've been doing this for so long and i need 500 mils in the morning so even if you want to start with 250 mils of warm water get half a lemon or a big wedge lemon squeeze it in get the seeds out if there is any and get that into your system not only is it rehydrating your body because you've been fasting all night from sleeping and not eating so you need to rehydrate your body the lemon will help your digestive system and get things moving so that's what we want to do today is get all the blockages out, get things moving, get our digestive system and our metabolism working again because it's slowed down from eating a lot of crap. So that's my number one tip, warm lemon water and just water in general today. I'm going to lose track of how many tips I give throughout this video. Oh, that sun in the background. Tip number two is get up and move your body. Not necessarily like going to, well, that's wobbly. Not necessarily going to get rid of your bloat as such, but when I come back from holidays, my body is craving the crappy foods and the sugars and the processed shit that I've been eating because that's your taste buds adjust to what you are, what you have been eating. So when I come back, it is hard to get back into those healthy habits and for my taste buds to be craving the healthier options. But when I exercise in the morning, I feel like that does get everything moving as well and just make you feel so much better. It makes me feel more clear, but it also makes me really motivated to make healthier choices for that day. Like I'm just in such a better state of mind that I choose to eat healthier. Whereas if I don't start my day active, I'm kind of like, oh, whatever. Like I'm just not as motivated and not as clear and not in, as in a good state. So honestly, moving your body will make you feel 10 times better and you're more than likely going to make healthier decisions. That sounds really really pretty actually so get up and move I am going to go for a quick walk on the treadmill before my training session with Nick and the girls and then I'm going to do yoga with Greg which will bring me on to my next tip I'm going to get Greg to show there's actual yoga poses that are specifically good for your digestive system and to make your tummy feel better like whether it's that time of the month or just poor digestive system or eating lots of crap like it will help your bowels and your tummy feel so much better so I'm gonna get him to throw show us the top Top three yoga poses and that'll be my number three tip
got here before we start our yoga. You don't know what I'm going to ask you, but I'm going to ask you something. Oh, okay. <laughs> Should I be nervous? <laughs> no, but you don't get bloated often, but this whole video is about bloating. Okay. What would be your number one tip if you're feeling bloated, like after a holiday, because I've come back from Bali and I feel quite bloated, what would be your number uh, one tip? Okay. Um, I would definitely say if I feel a bit bloated or eat too much during the day or just feeling a bit gross, then at night I will always make sure I have some Bye Bye Bloat tea. When I wake up in the morning, I always just feel um, it just helps all of that food digest when you're sleeping. And yeah, I definitely feel that that helps me if I'm feeling a little bit bloated. Yay, thank you. So today, you're going to show us the three top moves for digestion and bloating. Three top yoga poses to yes. help with digestion, so to move yes. waste through the belly, yes. get rid of gas that sits there. Yes, please, because that's how I'm feeling after Bali. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people know that you can actually do yoga poses yeah, to help with that. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. It's kind of like when you feel a bit stuck, it helps actually to move the waist through because that's a mechanical process. So usually your body has to use muscles to squeeze waist through, but obviously when you exercise or get massages, that helps to move waist through your body. And we can definitely do yoga to target the digestive system. Amazing, thank you. Okay, so we're doing child's pose to start off with. And we've done this one before, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about why it's so good for the digestive system it's also a really easy pose so it's good for a lot of different body types and a lot of different flexibility levels but you can see that your thighs when you're in child's pose this bone here which is your femur bone actually presses into the sides of the belly and then up the top of the thigh it squeezes right into the lower abdomen and into the hip so this is good for the colon which is the large intestine that stores our waste and it's good to get into the lower abdominal space too which is is often where we feel bloated. So that's where we get some gas and old waste sitting there. So child's pose is our number one pose today for digestive system and for bloating. Okay, so now we're on our backs and we're drawing both of our knees into our chest. And so once you draw your knees in, you wanna squeeze your knees in, relax the back of your neck, relax your shoulders and relax your back. What we're gonna do is take a deep breath and as we exhale, we're gonna gently pull our knees into our chest. So the thighs are gonna squeeze into the digestive system. Now, we're gonna let the left leg go long and then just squeeze the right knee in. But the trick here, this is actually called wind removing pose which is really cool the trick here is to open the knee out to the side a little bit and then squeeze it in towards the armpit because the rib cage is in the center of the chest and it protects the digestive organs so we want to go just to the outside of the rib cage and on the right side of the belly you've got the ascending colon which is the start of the large intestine so we take a couple of breaths here and we squeeze 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 with every exhale then you can let the right leg go long we'll normally take a couple of breaths with both legs long but for today we'll just go straight into the left side and so you can see Ashi's bringing the thigh just to the outside of the rib cage. So it's kind of towards the shoulder and then pull your knee down strong as you exhale. So you actually want to feel your thigh pressing into the outside of the belly. And on this side, we have the descending colon. So this is the final stage of the large intestine. So this is where all the waste comes out of. So we wanna really use our exhalation because the exhaling releases waste from the body, as well as this massaging yoga pose to help physically get rid of the waste too. And then once you've done the right side, the left side, you can let both legs go long and just take a couple of breaths into the belly. Really, really nice, slow, deep breath. Make sure you focus on your exhale because the exhale tell us where we squeeze out all of the waste. Hello again, so it is lunchtime now and I am absolutely starving because I have been fasting all morning. So intermittent fasting is something that I have been trialing for a couple of months now. I first of all, when I first heard about it, I was a little bit closed minded because I've just always been brought up with and learned that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And that definitely is the case for a lot of people. I know people that function so well off breakfast, like example, Gretty needs breakfast. But Steve had been intermittent fasting for a couple of months. He lost like eight kilos or something and said he was just feeling so much more clear in his mind and was really started to appreciate food again. And his digestive system was working so much better. And I just honestly started it to begin with to support him because I thought if we're both doing the same thing, it would be a lot easier for him. And the differences that I noticed in my body were amazing. I won't go into too much depth about it because we are doing an intermittent fasting month for squad next month, which is really exciting. But one thing I do know, it is incredible 
incredible to give your digestive system a rest and we've been doing 16 8 so 16 hours with no food and then an eight hour period so that includes your sleep really and then eight hour period where you do have your food um, I'm not doing it to lose weight it was more just giving my digestive system a rest and I don't do it every single day I just listen to my body but I feel so much more clearer and I even feel more energized in my workouts which I was really really surprised with but I just feel more I don't have that brain fog anymore which I used to get so I've definitely felt a lot of benefits but I won't go into too many too many details because I want to talk about in that in the squad forum next month so if you want to join us definitely we'll just learn more about it that's something Levi will be coaching all of us through once again but yeah I'm starving so now I'm going to break my fast I'm going to make a smoothie I'm really craving a super green smoothie so that's what I'm going to make to break my fast and have for lunch then I've got to head off to the office but that is tip number four or five I forget is just giving your body a bit of a rest to digest food and just yeah digest food so intermittent fasting definitely look into it or come along next month in the squad form to learn more about it but I definitely notice it helps my digestive system and my bloating like since I've been intermittent fasting I have not been bloated apart from this week because I didn't fast in Bali and I ate so much crap but I definitely feel way less bloated and like flatter in my stomach so that's a win have this feeling haven't felt for so long to go hold on me One small regret with making my smoothie is when I feel like my gut isn't right or I feel really bloated. One thing that I notice a massive difference, and this brings me on to my next tip, is bone broth. I feel like that my stomach just loves it. It's full of protein, healthy fat, collagen. It just feels so good in my stomach. And I think it makes a real big difference when I have that consistently. Even with my skin, I notice a big difference. So there's a couple of brands that I like of bone broth and the best time to have it is on an empty stomach. So I wish I had bone broth just before this. That would be ideal um so that's what i would have done so bone broth is definitely key so i'll show you the two brands that i really like personally so these are the two brands that i love the broth of life and Me what is it meadow and marrow this one tastes really nice the curry one i'm not a massive like yellow curry person but it's actually so delicious they have an original original and a lemon lemon and herb which i don't like but the curry one is so yummy like trust me it's it's delicious this one i like to put in lots of our cooking rather than just having it with warm water but it is good to travel with because it doesn't need to be in um, the fridge whereas that one does but this one you can just get online you just pop it with hot water or i love mix it in all of our curries and everything so i feel like this video is meant to be more vlog style but i've kind of just been giving you my tip little update of my day oh vibration i just went live on my tone page um so i'm just about to head into the office i've got some filming to do and this morning chezzy and i had to go for a dress fitting um because i am judging the Miss World competition again this Friday. I did it last year. It was so much fun. I loved meeting all the girls. I love judging. I love being a part of it. I love getting dressed up. We got our dresses from a place called Studio Mink. It's in Chevron Island. They've got the most beautiful gowns. So I got one. I'm very excited. Um, I might vlog that actually this Friday in this vlog. I'll see how I go. And yeah, I've got to do some filming now and then I've got to head to the shops with Chessie to get some earrings and a bag for Friday and then eat again because I'll be hungry. But that's really my update. It's kind of a boring work day. So I think this video will be mainly tips. And I've still got lots for you. So keep on watching. What are you doing? I've got fur all over me for your cat. Sh stroking. Well, I think he's your cat. You call him your baby. It is, it is my baby. I don't really like cats, but I love Frizzell. Everyone says that. Yeah. <laughs> I was just telling them how we got our dress fitting today. Yes, we did. It's a bit exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting. We're going shopping for accessories now. Too. Yes. Let's so have a question for you. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this video. It's all about bloating and my best tips to get rid of bloat. Bloating from period or bloating from food? Food, like eating too much shit. Okay, yeah. Dairy. Or, yeah, like dairy for you. <laughs> yeah. Like dairy. Yeah. What is your like go-to when you get bloated? Like is there something you do or take or drink or anything that makes yes. you feel better? I don't have it at home. I've forgotten it a few times, but you have it in here. Apple cider vinegar? Oh, apple cider vinegar, yes. Yes. I so steal yours you always steal that. No, 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 you gotta do a shot now on camera. <laughs> 
this we find so disgusting, but we both still do it. Oh, because it does work. I do find it works. I don't really try. I haven't really tried anything else, to be honest. It's so good, hey? So I would recommend having this before a meal. <coughs> Sorry, choking on my smoothie. Having it before a meal, so before lunch or before dinner, just have a shot of it, and it really helps. Do you go before or after? Yeah. No, before I do. Oh, maybe we should research, research what's better. What's better? Before. Chocolate. Chocolate. I don't have chocolate. How do you not have chocolate? Because I don't shop alcohol. <laughs> oh, every once in a while. Come on. Are you seriously? Shezzy, you're talking to me. Yeah, I know, but I live here for a while. I think we do. Yeah, live here for a while. Somewhere, but I don't know where. <laughs> Okay, I need this camera to be higher. We're just gonna have to put it into glasses. Oh, it's so bad. Like, you're gonna think we're dramatic, but we I don't stick to this consistently because I hate it that much. I honestly just can't have it every single day. But mm. if I do feel really bloated or I just I know the benefits, it's really good. You have it more than me, you're better than me. But I just don't have good stomach reaction. I it's gonna be Ooh. funny. So we're just gonna go two full capfuls. It is bad. I, I admire girls that can like consistently do this. I really can't. Like a lot of girls have this first thing in the morning or they mix it with lemon and honey, but then I'm like, you're mixing it with sugar. So I feel like it's not as beneficial if you're gonna mix it with yeah. honey. I probably don't do as, I don't do two. I just do like a tiny little bit. And you still find that helps? Yeah, why not? Yeah, because my body's just like with dairy. I shouldn't eat dairy at all. No, you shouldn't. Okay. But I do. Cheers. <laughs> Think of alcohol. Oh. <laughs> it gets worse. It's done. <sighs> Good. It lingers though. That's why I don't do that often. But if you can handle apple cider vinegar, I feel like I'm gonna gag. My mouth's boring, is that normal? I just, I can feel it going down my chest. If you can handle apple cider vinegar, it is really good for your digestive system and bloating, but it is foul. Comment below actually, is there anyone who actually likes the taste of that shotting it? I love it over salads. And like a little bit. Yeah, like, like a, a sprinkle a drizzle. A drizzle over salad, beautiful. But Not like that. <gasps> but that's tip number maybe seven for the day, so. What else do people do? I don't actually know. For bloating. For bloating. My bad, I bloat tea. Well, I have that, I have that every night. Even yeah. Like yeah, yeah, same. I, I don't have that. that because I'm bloating. Yeah, acupuncture is really good. There's certain yoga poses that are really good. You're gonna have to watch my video, babe. You're gonna have to watch my vlog. Do you watch my vlogs? Do you? Yes, I do. Maybe not straight away when you upload them. <laughs> I'm not like, oh my God, I've gotta go watch it. Like, <laughs> you know, gotta you, go watch it. You, you fit into my schedule. <laughs> My schedule, not the other way around. Oh is my it? gosh! So yes, I do. I don't, know, I don't even think Sammy and Gretty watch my vlogs. I think Stacey watches some of them. Nat said she watches all of them. She's mm -hmm. like, yeah, I watch them all. Um, but yeah, my mum watches all of them. Yeah, I, do, I watch them all, but I don't sit at home at five o'clock when you load and go. Oh, I've got to see this week's vlog. You're like Bachelorette's on. Oh my god! <laughs> actually, I have been watching that. I'm getting into. Really, I haven't. Well, I only started watching it because. Um, the guy, I didn't wasn't really keen on him. Yeah, I'm not really. And then I watched a little bit, and I was like, he's actually quite funny. Yeah, Steve said he's really funny. He's guy. actually quite a funny guy, but I'm just. Uh, he's not the type of guy I would go for though. I think he's funny because mm. the mate. He's not the type of guy I would like date. I don't think. I've never I've watched him. I've never dated. I've never dated football though, anyway. A sports star? Would you even be a wag? No, not no, either. No, no. I know someone else who wants to be a wag. We won't mention names. We know. <laughs> we all she's, know. If she watches this, she's gonna be like. Straight away. Yeah, yeah seriously. No. I don't think I could be a wag. Steve likes you to think you, you would do it very well as a wag, I think. Hey, why? Because because you just you can go to like all those public appearances, oh, you'd be confident, you'd love them. I don't love them anymore. I get nervous with them now. Yeah, true, actually. Oh, no, I just feel like it's not full it's not a room full of humble people anymore. And it's a bit of a competition. Isn't yeah, it? and everyone just thinks, I don't know. It's just this world these days. I don't think any everyone's as humble as what they used to be. But no, I don't think wag life would suit me. Steve likes to think he's a sports star <clears throat> in many things. Golf, what tennis football, tennis. Just in general, day to day, he does. He thinks he's a superstar. You're a superstar in my eyes, babe. <laughs> we better get going. We've got shopping to do. My bro. <laughs> my bro. My big bro. Aww. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's go. Oh, it's raining. Pour 
pouring down rain. <laughs> Literally pouring down on the Gold Coast here at the moment and it's now spring. Anyways, <laughs> um, so there's a couple more tips that I want to share with you about bloating. I hope you can hear me over this rain. I really need a new camera with like a microphone on top, but hopefully you guys can hear me. I might talk a little bit louder, but I wanted to talk about artificial sweeteners. Avoid them at all costs. They will make you so bloated because your body doesn't know how to break them down. They're so bad for us. They can mess with our hormones. They hold no nutritional value. They will just bloat you. And there's a certain couple that really bloat me, like maltodextrone. Maltodextrone, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sucralose. Yeah, artificial sweeteners are a no-go. Also, avoid eating too fast because even chewing gum, because when you eat too fast or you chew a lot of gum, you also swallow a lot of air and that can make you really, really bloated. Another one is to avoid high sodium foods. High sodium foods and products and a lot of salt can make you really bloated. If I want to lean down a little bit and just even not feel a little bit bloated before a photo shoot, even if I'm not feeling bloated, but if I want to feel even flatter in my stomach and not as puffy, I will definitely limit my salt and sodium intake. So definitely take that on board. Ah, I've just found a position, might move this back. <laughs> and lean down where I don't have to hold my camera. And then I think we really need to get need to get back to basics. So avoiding the crap, your deep fried foods, your high processed foods, getting back to natural foods that we are actually supposed to eat. Lots of fibrous fruits and vegetables and greens, having your greens powder. I think all of that will really help get things moving and detox us and help the bloat get to a minimum because no one wants to be bloated. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to work. So it is pouring down rain. I'm gonna get very wet again but there's a couple more tips about bloating. My last bloating tip for this video would definitely be to do a full course of probiotics. Your gut health is so important and I don't feel like it's spoken about enough. I feel like your gut health is the foundation for your health. Anyone that's struggling with digestive issues, bloating, skin issues, overall health, it should start at the gut. I just, I just don't think it's spoken about or taught enough. Like I feel like we should get taught this in school. Now when it comes to brands of probiotics, I really like the Bioceuticals brand. There goes my kettle. Let me just shut the door which i don't have in my house at the moment but taj uses the biosuchers brand as well so that's for juniors you can get uh probiotics for pregnancy so what i would advise is just going into your health food store and talking to a lot of health food stores these days i know on the gold coast have actual naturopaths or nutritionists or dietitians behind the counter so you can talk to them about why you're wanting to do it any symptoms that you might have and they'll help you find the best one but i do love bioceuticals i feel like it's the most trusted in the health industry metagenics is also another brand um, i'll quickly show you that and then I found this one in my fridge as well, which Steve takes as well. So, Metagenics, Fusion, or Biocidicals. They are definitely expensive, um, but they're so important for your health. Like, I am all for improving my health. That's why I love having bone broth. I love having L-glutamine, and I love having probiotics. I just think it's so, so important. Like, you will feel more energized. You will feel better in your digestive system. Your bowels will move better. Your skin will be healthier. Your immune system will be better. Like, your gut health, as I said before, is a foundation for everyone, everything. Maybe I should do another whole video just on gut health. Um, but spend some time researching gut health because you'll be fascinated with how amazing it can be when you do have good gut health or how damaging it is for your overall health and energy and immune system and everything when your gut health is not on point. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here, but before I do, we have our competitions. So this time, instead of just commenting your favorite thing, I want you to comment with something that I haven't mentioned that helps your bloating or that you've found out that can help bloating. So comment below. This way, your comments will help lots of other girls. I might learn something new and we are all here to connect and help each other and support and empower each other. So, oh, my Apple Watch is coming off. So I'm gonna choose one comment that's something I haven't heard of before or just something that I feel like a lot of girls can benefit from. I will then get you to send me your postal address or your PO box on my Instagram. I will pin your comment at the top and let you know that you've won so everyone can see it. It'll be a mystery box of some goodies. But to win, you must be a subscriber. So click that subscribe button. You must give this video a big thumbs up. Also need to click the little bell so it lets you know each time I upload and you don't miss my videos. And obviously comment below with your tips. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, always let me know and I've got lots of exciting content coming up and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.